Hey, what's up, everybody? It's Priyam Joni. So I'm away on a trip right now, but I figured I would share this piece of advice for any aspiring DJ, producer, musician, or artist. Never stop being a noob. Okay, that was a little clickbaity. What do I mean? What I'm saying is, don't stop being a beginner at something. As soon as you master a technique, or a craft, move on to something else you can be a noob at. The way to keep growing is to consistently keep working at something that you haven't mastered or know how to do. When people ask me, how long does it take to become a pro or an expert? I honestly don't have an answer because I've always viewed myself as a student. I'm always researching and studying things that I can do more. I'm not content with just getting by or getting the job done. There's a saying that goes, tomato that decides he is ripe is destined to rot. You know who those people are. I've been DJing for 30 years and I started on vinyl. I know more than these kids and their controllers and their sync buttons. But the genuine question is, have they grown? Have they learned anything new since the time they started playing and mastered vinyl? Now I know the word noob has a negative connotation to it. Sometimes it could be in reference to the beginner who pretends to be an expert. I'm not talking about becoming that person. I'm simply talking about not fearing the vulnerability of trying something new and risking looking like a beginner no matter what level you are perceived to be on. Unfortunately, a lot of DJs and artists get to a level where they're no longer are willing to take the risk of appearing like a student or a beginner at something. And some of them tend to start hazing the younger DJs and the beginner DJs and the gear they use simply because they fear that they will be passed. So when one of these folks calls you a noob, take it as a compliment. Being called a noob by them means you're willing to risk making a mistake and trying something new while open to learning something that you've never tried before. I myself, I consider myself a student and I like to share the things that I learn especially things that maybe I haven't seen other people talk about or show in a certain perspective. The minute I stop being a student, meaning I'm a ripe tomato, is the day I no longer have anything of value to share. And as a student, I don't mean that you have to take everyone's advice. Just be open-minded and look out for the ones that will help you grow. Always follow the advice of people who have the results that you're looking for. Never be satisfied with just enough. Just enough means, oh, I know how to beat match, so I know how to DJ. Just enough means, oh, I know how to use turntables and I don't need to learn anything else. Just enough means, oh, I'm good at DJing, so I don't need to learn anything else musically. Just enough means, at my current gigs, I don't really play music I like, but I get paid. If you want to stand out, don't just settle for just enough. There's a little piece of you that makes your performance, your artistry unique. And the best way to get there is to continue to grow. Keep being a student. That's how you master your craft. All right, if you got any questions, comments, or anything to add about the topic we talked about today, please leave them in the comments section below. We'd love to hear your thoughts, answer any questions, or learn anything new that I didn't cover regarding this topic. If you like this video, please smash that like button. And if it's your first time here and you found this video useful, please click that subscribe button and don't forget to click that little bell icon so you get a notification the next time I upload a video. And don't forget to add me on Twitch where I do my live stream mix shows at. I like to switch around the gear that I talk about in my YouTube videos so you can see them live in action. Really appreciate you for watching. Thanks, take care, and stay healthy.